click on control space designer click on windows and click on device list now you can see all the devices on the left search for pm8500 amplifier here it is click on it and drag and drop to a project view so by default amplifier is taking its model number let us rename that right click properties i am giving my youtube channel name and close the window now you can see amplifier default name we changed to av universe if you have a multiple amplifiers how do you give a different device id to each amplifier right click on the block go to properties so device id number is here just change the number to 2 and close the window you can see now device id number is 2 so this device id is are useful when you are using multiple amplifiers in your project let us see what all the other options that are available right click go to properties so under input section select the type of input that you are using pm8500 by default comes with analog connection so we are not changing anything under output pm8500 comes with eight outputs this section i will cover more in detail in part 2 last section is misc if you look at the amplifier front panel you see small lcd display and button panel the light of lcd panel can be adjusted using display options either you can dim or you can leave as it is you have an option to lock the button panel to lock the button panel enable panel lock option and set five digit passcode so here alarms can be enabled by checking this box go to setup and choose the conditions that you wish to apply for your project you also have auto standby mode to enable this just check auto standby mode check box and go to setup here you have an option to send amplifier to standby mode when there is no signal when the signal is back you have an option to auto wake up the amplifier power up state so this is used to restore the last settings in order to enable just check this box thank you